What's up guys, DRock1992 here. For this next video, I am going to be reviewing the sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. Uh, that I promised, I promised to review the sequel here um, for my next video. This movie was the first movie that I saw in, for 2016 in theaters. And hopefully not the last, for sure. I'm definitely going to see other films. Uh, this film is London Has Fallen, so it is the direct sequel to Olympus Has Fallen, and it takes place after the events of Olympus Has Fallen. And the three main guys who were in Olympus Has Fallen, Gerard Butler, Aaron Eckhart, and Morgan Freeman, are in London Has Fallen, so they reprise their roles. Um, and so London Has Fallen is about... <clears throat> There is a big funeral, a worldwide funeral, a funeral for a British, the British Prime Minister that is being conducted in London. And all the world, dig all the dignitaries of the world, all the leaders of the free world are going, including, are going to pay their respects to the British Prime Minister, including Aaron Eckhart's president. So they all go, but then chaos ensues. A lot of the world leaders are in trouble, and chaos ensues, and Gerard Butler has to go through London to save the president and save the country from uh, another big terrorist attack. So, this terrorist attack is based on revenge, uh, is a revenge plot, just like the North Korean revenge plot in Olympus Has Fallen. So, so there you go. That is basically your plot to this film. The pre Gerard Butler has to save the president, except not in the White House. Has to save him in London, in the entirety of London. So he has to go save the day in the most open of spaces, the city of London, instead of the confined space of the White House. So... This is your sequel to Olympus Has Fallen, and, I mean, Gerard Butler does another great job in this film. He just, he delivers again, and Morgan Freeman is just as good as ever, you know, adds to the movie for sure. Aaron Eckhart is very good as well. I think he does a very good job. Um, you see... I mean, you see some new characters in the movie, like Charlotte Riley, who plays this British MI6 agent. She does a pretty good job. Um, Alain Moni Abadbul, who plays the villain in this film, the major villain. Rick Yoon played the villain in Olympus Has Fallen, and I didn't mention him in the last video, but he, did, he played a good villain for sure. Uh... Interesting fact, Rick Yoon was actually the Bond a Bond henchman villain in Die Another Day. The Bond movie Die Another Day. So, interesting fact about that. So anyway, uh, you have Angela Bassett returning, Melissa Leo, and Radha Mitchell um, returning in this film as well. But um, <clears throat> this film is, I will say that London Has Fallen is not quite as good as Olympus Has Fallen. Olympus Has Fallen was amazing. It was so good. London Has Fallen, my only big complaint about London Has Fallen was that it took a little too long to get the action going. With this kind of film, you know what you're going to get. I mean, with Olympus Has Fallen, you knew what you were going to get. A good, a mindless action. London Has Fallen is the exact same thing as Olympus Has Fallen. Mindless action that you can just go, you can go into the theater, you can escape for a little while, and you can stuff your face with popcorn. Because these are action, these are popcorn movies for sure. Olympus Has Fallen and London Has Fallen. London Has Fallen was very good for sure. It, it definitely has done, you know, for me... London Has Fallen was very good, so I'm gonna I'm giving it a four for very good. 
Um, it was a very good sequel to Olympus Has Fallen. Not quite as good, but still very effective. Gerard Butler, there were there's some awesome action scenes, just like there were in Olympus Has, Olympus Has Fallen. Gerard Butler is so good yet again as the Secret Service. He's, you know, he's actually the head of the Secret Service agency now of the Secret Service for Aaron Eckhart's president. Aaron Eckhart does a great job. Morgan Freeman does a great job as um, as the uh, Speaker of the House. Actually, in this one, he's the Vice President, and in the other one, he was the... the um, uh, Speaker of the House, I believe. In Olympus Has Fallen, he was the Speaker of the House. So yeah, London Has Fallen is really a um, <clears throat> is a really good movie. I really enjoyed the movie a lot. Um, you know, yeah, I give it a four for very good for sure. Will we see a sequel again? Pro uh, maybe. I mean, depending on this movie is still out there in theaters. So, and so far it's turned a pretty decent profit, so you could very well see a sequel, another sequel to it. You, you could see one. I mean, the only thing is Gerard Butler's getting up there in age, you know, so how long does he have left as a viable action star? So, is the big question. But, we'll see what happens for sure. So that is it for my review on London Has Fallen and my first 2016 movie that I saw in theaters. So that's it for this video. DRock1992 out.